evening, the Argentine's Julio Cesar Vasquez is one of the world's toughest and busiest world champions, and he's not afraid to travel the globe. Brighton, Belfast, Madrid, Monte Carlo and Paris, to name but a few different venues. In this show, he fights for the fifth time in France as he defends the WBA light middleweight title for the ninth time in 20 months. We also visit Nevada to take a look at the unbeaten Carlos Hernandez, a hot lightweight prospect whose nickname is famous, and he will be if he becomes El Salvador's first world champion. The main event first, though, it's from Saint-Jean-de-Luz in the south of France. 28-year-old Vasquez has had 51 fights, losing just one. He became world champion in December 1992. He's defended the title eight times, including a points win over Spain's Francisco Castelligo. That was on World Championship Boxing as well. His last defense was in May of this year on the Eubank Close Bill in Belfast, when he finally stopped the Russian, Hamet Dotiev, in the tenth round of an outstanding world title fight. The champion is a tremendously strong and big-hitting southpaw with a rocky style of brawling aggression. He's knocked out 35 of his opponents, and that one defeat was a disqualification. The challenger is the unbeaten American Ronald Wright. He's won all 25 fights to date, 18 of them inside the distance. He too has plenty of experience of fighting in France, including knockout wins over Lavon Raus and Gilberto Barreto. Both were very quick wins in Paris. Wright is a clever, hard-hitting southpaw who's considered a real threat to Vasquez, but this is his first world title shot, and he's never been beyond eight rounds. Julio Cesar Vasquez, then, the fighter versus Ronald Wright, the counter-puncher for the WBA light middleweight championship of the world. Your commentary team in Saint-Jean-de-Luz, Reg Guttridge and Jim Watt. <laughs> Well, while they're getting the, the run down there in Spanish, it sounds, isn't it? One of the all-time hustlers and bustlers this fellow is. What a tough guy, Vasquez. And uh, Winky Ride is his nickname from Florida. He's been, been well cared for in his uh, matchmaking now, but he's really got to try and prove himself with this one. Unbeaten, you can't knock that. But he's always been carefully picked. They've nursed him a bit in Florida. The opponents he knocked out in Paris... Well, they weren't great fighters by any means. This fella just marches forward the whole time, and the only defeat was against Verno Phillips, whom we've seen on World Championship Boxing. And uh, that was a disqualification. At first, it was uh, going to be a no contest, because the seconds ran into the ring protesting about a punch after the bell. So it's all a bit unsatisfactory. And the old line about have gum shield will travel, Jim. This champion from Argentina, you've got to hand it to him. He's been everywhere. I mean, going to Belfast itself was a knockout, wasn't it? Defeated a Russian in a great fight, too. Yeah, well, with, with his style, he doesn't really look for any help from any officials or anybody else. He's fairly basic. Uh, sometimes he's trouble in, in the early rounds with opponents, but his sheer strength uh, has never let him down. He usually comes on strong. And already, this, this is going to be a hot one for him. He's been needing a couple of jabs already in the first round here. An old southpaw battle, obviously. That's a good jab, right, Stone. Yeah, he makes that count, doesn't he? I've seen that before. He's, he's had a couple of one-round wins. His last, he's even had it in Luxembourg, a one-rounder. And it was the Venezuelan that he turned over in the first round last June in Paris. But who knows? First, first 12 rounds, Jim. You know, it's going to be a tough one for him because, as you say, Vasquez, he marches on a bit. I have to say, I, I like the look of Wright. I know he hasn't boxed anybody in uh, Vasquez's classes yet, but just the look of him I like. I like the way he moves around. A couple of bits of pressure he's been under in the first round. He's coped without a problem. I think this is going to be a tough one for Vasquez. The WBA version, then, of the light middleweight championship, 11 stone, 154 pounder. Surprising, though, the boxing fans in France, you know, Jim, it just shows you, if you introduce people from abroad who can fight, a bit like bringing the foreign players into British football, really, isn't it? They're getting a lot of support now. Well, we saw a few cracks in Vasquez's defences when he boxed the Russian over in Ireland. And actually, he, was not, he found himself on the floor that night. So you just wonder with this busy schedule if it's maybe becoming too tough for him. I mean, this is a good first round for the challenger. Not moving his head at all there, the 
Jackman, look at that, he's getting picked off. He made a good goalkeeper, nothing gets past him. Well, you know, he contributed to that, Jim Vasquez, really, by ducking. So the end of the, the opening round then, and that's the 260th <laughs> pro rounds for this fellow. That's quite a record, isn't it? Ron, Ronald Wright just hit, uh, hit the 80 mark there. Uh, that's the face of a couple of fighters there, particularly the one on the right, isn't it? 22 years old, right. And 28, the champion. Comes from the same uh, district as the great Carlos Monzon, this fellow, Jim Santa Fe. I know Monzon was one of your favourites, but different style to this. Second round, then. And a good opener there for the challenger from Florida, who's enjoyed his uh, victories in France. Look at this, it's so accurate with it. I can't understand Vasquez standing for that, Jim. They're a bit obvious. But he writes putting so much power into the jab. Uh, normally, Vasquez can come right through an opponent's jab, but he can't with this one. It's stopping him in his tracks. So he's going to have to get his own punches off early, and he can't counter this fellow. He's going to have to lead, and that's what he's trying to do, but oh. again, a little bit clumsy. Yeah, he, he just turned the punch there, didn't he? Hooked it in well. I don't know if he was entitled to call that a knockdown. I, would, I would have done, Jim, definitely. He was stumbling, but a punch landed, and look, see how crude he is, and Wright has taken full advantage here. made up for it there yeah he's going to count that one I hope yes man of trade of course now that one do his confidence much good uh, it looks like he's congratulating Vasquez for catching him with the punch it's the only decent punch he's caught him with in a round and a half yeah and that's always the worry when the first decent punch you take puts you on the floor that doesn't do your, your cause any good I mean that was a stumble certainly that time but uh, first decent punch and he's over he's, you have to wonder about his chin and his strength now he's on his back foot, circling. Yeah, he's already come to terms with the fact that this is no easy job. See, I don't think he's ever been under fire like this before, Winky Wright. I mean, this, this is a test of character now. And it's so early, I mean, 12-rounder. Well, it's certainly too early to get involved with Vasquez. It, he wants to try and keep it at long range if he can. But he seems to have lost his way a little bit in the second round. He's lost all of his composure. What a hard man to fight this Vasquez. He's, not, he's, he's fairly easy to hit, really, Jim, but he just bounces back. He's a rubber ball champion. Yeah, he's, ba he's basic, he's fairly crude. But very effective, and he uses his strength to the full. And that's allowed, of course, in case you're not familiar with the rules. So normally they do give it a wash, but they haven't bothered with that. So he, he didn't want to stop the momentum there, Vasquez, Jim. He, he didn't want to walk away and put his, his gum shield in in his corner. And he wanted to carry on here while he's got the upper hand. In fact, in his case, the upper two hands. Uh, right's jab is still working well, but he's lost his composure. He's really under pressure here. So it's a tough fight then, and it's time for a quick break, but we'll be right back with the rest of the action. start there a good opening round by the American Winky Wright and then some strong stuff indeed by the defending champion from the Argentine and it's all going to be a war of attrition as far as uh, 
curiosity that Vasquez is concerned because that's his game. Wright's the better boxer of the two, stylist anyway. I don't think it would have mattered if this fight had been in America on uh, Wright's home turf, really, Jim. This guy's been around too long and fought away from home too much to worry about home crowds. Yeah, he's a real good uh, old pro, Not, nothing troubles him. He just does exactly the same thing every time he gets into the ring. But you've got to give Wright some credit. He's boxing well, and when he gets behind that jab and keeps a bit of space between him and...